All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 4 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm going to start off by dividing every term by 25 to the power of x. So I get 4 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x. Now the 25 and 25 cancel out for 1, so now I have 4 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 4 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x turns into 4 over 25 to the power of x. And 9 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x turns into 9 over 25 to the power of x. From here, I can rewrite 4 over 25 as 2 squared over 5 squared. And I can rewrite 9 over 25 as 3 squared over 5 squared. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, remember, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 2 squared over 5 squared turns into 2 over 5 squared. And the same thing with 3 squared over 5 squared. So I get 3 over 5 squared. From here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So the 2 and x multiply. So I get 2 over 5 to the power of 2x plus 3 over 5 to the power of 2x is equal to 1. And this means that 2x is equal to 1. So now if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 1 half. So this is my solution. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video. Bye. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 20 as 19 plus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 19 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 19 plus 1, and this is going to equal 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of 1. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now from here, if I factor out 2 to the power of 19 from my left-hand side, I get 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, is equal to 16 to the power of x. And 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, that's simply equal to 1. And anything times 1 is itself. So I have 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now, 16, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So now I have 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 4 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 4 times x, which is also 2 to the power of 4x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 19 is equal to 4x. 
Now we have a simple equation here. All I have to do is divide both sides by four and I get x is equal to 19 over four. Now to check, my original equation was two to the power of 20 minus two to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of 20 minus 2 to the power of 19, we already know that's 2 to the power of 19. So we get 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 16 to the power of 19 over 4. Now 16, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So now I have 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 19 over 4. And these two 4s cancel out, so I get 2 to the power of 19 is equal to 2 to the power of 19.